Bolly Gum by Gary Fleming, who is the author and the illustrator. Chapter 1 Sunlight danced on the water and the trees swayed overhead. Deep in the Australian bush there are hidden valleys where time has stood still. This is the story of one such place and the creatures that dwell there. This is the story of Folly Gum. Sunlight filtered down through towering gum trees warming the darkest corners of the valley floor. The tiny community of Bolly Gum began to stir. Everyone, that is, except for Wombat who had risen early and was busily getting ready for a day's fishing. Wombat lived in a small house under the shadow of a tall ghost gum. Perfumes from his garden of orange passion flowers and pink baronias filled the air. He had spent the early hours of the morning carefully preparing his tackle box. Like everything in Wombat's home, it was perfectly neat and well organised. Only sinkers in the spot for sinkers, and only hooks in the spot for hooks. Yesterday I went fishing. Uh, the day before I went fishing, and uh, the day before that uh, I went. Um, Fishing, and yes, today looks like a perfect day for a uh, fishing, muttered Wombat. He gave a quick pat at the tuft of hair on the top of his head, which, after a night spent squashed against his pillow, refused to lie down. Ready at last, he said, and grabbed his best fishing rod before heading down towards the creek. After a short walk through the trees, he came to his favourite fishing spot, a large rock that overlooked the deep, clear waters of the creek. Wriggling his rather round rump into a comfy position, he finally cast his line and watched as the sinker hit the surface of the water. His float settled and the water smoothed. Wombat gave a contented sigh. Ah! Maybe this would be the day he actually caught something. He had never hooked a fish before, only watched as silvery shapes started to and fro avoiding his hook. But Wombat didn't mind. He enjoyed gazing at the tranquil creek and the stark white trunks of the tall ghost gums. Sunlight danced on the water and the trees swayed overhead. Wombat sat and sat. As time slowly passed, the warmth made him sleepy. Soon, very soon, it would be time to eat the delicious lunch he had so carefully packed in his tackle box. <laughs>